Well, good afternoon, campers. It's the 13th of June. Why, oh, she knows. Just had a pull in the nest, had a shower. Because I was coming this way and I needed to get a part for my, um, my 124 scale remote control climber. I'm going to reduce the uh, gearing on the front axle by 20%. Well, not reduce it, so it goes 20% faster than the back one, so it'll, it'll climb better. That's by the by. Um, as you notice, I haven't been on for a while. I just can't be fucking bothered. I've not been well. This having this um, stint put in has really messed my blood and my blood sugar levels up because it's trying to read the stent that's in me. It's trying to reject it. So all it's just doing, my body's just making sugar, and, uh, and I don't need sugar because, as you all know. I'm sweet enough. Yeah, so uh, I've been invited out to lunch tomorrow. So um, yeah, so I'm going over to the Friday night park up. We think it's a plan of attack, and then I'll go and either meet, pick up, or well, either was it my mate, and after lunch we'll go. future so it remains to be seen. Um, it's raining. Um, my truck's due for an MOT um, <clears throat> on the 5th of July. So I've got some little tiny bits to do with that. I'm a bit dubious about leaving the orange side light bulbs in. Now, although I've got another four white lights showing to the front. Because the older MOT tester seems to get a bit weird. We sent her indoors in for an MOT and he failed it on the bushes moving on the front subframe. Well that wasn't picked up last year because she only does about 2,000 miles a year as a warning, I don't know. So we took them out, got them done, it cost nearly 400 fucking quid. And I went and seen one of the lads of the Nissan garage and I said to my son, he just I said, are these all right? I said to put them back into my car. And he went, well, he said, if you've got them apart, mate, you put some new ones in. He said, why'd you take them out anyway? I said, I felt it, I said, it felt its MOT on it. And he went, he went, oh, did it? No comment. So, um, yeah, there you go. So all this fucking traffic in Trowbridge now is right, right. I was going to say motherfucker, but I'm too, too polite to say that, so I'm going to say mess. Um, people are telling me how well I'm not looking, which is a bit of a shock. <laughs> but um, it's always waiting for now. You know what? They'd fuck a good cunt at me with like, this fucking military council. And um, I mean, it's what, half past two in the afternoon. And they got all the traffic stuck up here. Mm -hmm. I'd try to stay away to only come through late at night or early in the morning usually. But by saying that I took a I took a trip back here because like I said I want to pick that bell up your car. Get myself a shower and say to me get away or put it all away because I keep my big truck in the um oh I swear to us nobody's in there. They're repairing it's lovely that this brand new piece of road must have been in at least six months and there's a bus, there's a van there and it's repairing. So, um, yeah, there you go. Anyway, so I'm turning on to the half now. No, I'm not. I might be. Am I turning on the half? No, I'm turning on Union Street. So you wonder where I am. I'm just going by the chunky cheese some of cheese old Mexican and Tex-Mex takeaway. Yeah. Um, I had, look at this joker. Oh, oh I said, fucking pull up on the road, mate, you dopey. God. I tell you what, the frost don't kill them, does it? Uh, anyway, see you, bloody moaning. Anyway, Charlie, Charlie's van life, he's got a new van, his old one. Sort of give up the ghost really, you know, you need a gearbox, but 
I mean, it's hardly worth. Well, I think the reason he didn't fix the gearbox is because he couldn't get one. And they couldn't get the parts to fix it because everything he'd done, he, he has um, a string of troubles with it, but it's 30 odd years old. So it's, it's entitled to, but when he does get something fixed, he gets it fixed properly. And the things like when he had the suspension done, bits and pieces, he's never had to do it again. It's just fixed, isn't it? But he's got this plot. He need to call it a pilot because he's a fucking moron, isn't he? He's one of these fucking Northampton fuckers, he is, so they don't speak proper. It's a pillock, Charlie. You know, not what you are, fucking pillock. <laughs> boy, old mate, he's a good old boy, is that, Charlie? Yeah, I love every hair on his fucking head. And he's as bold as a badger's ass. <laughs> no, he's a good old boy, he is. wonder why all this traffic's about then. I was going to go over out on a main A36 and swing round. But um, there's plenty of traffic on here. I'm going to cut up, up on the West Ashton Road and go through West Road, I think. This is bloody hard work doing this. Yeah, so I got, um, I don't think there's any, one, I don't think there's any wrong with the van, my van. The only thing they might argue to toss it, the wheels stick out a bit, but the actual tread doesn't stick out. It's just the wall that sticks out, but the MOT bloke, I mean, well, I don't know. He's a lovely chap and he's not well, so whether it's just him not being too good or not, I don't know. But he always comes over as a decent sort of bloke. I'll always take it there. Well, I don't take it there just to get him to do it. I take it there because the chap there does an MOT on the cheap for me. So, you know, you've gone along the wrong fucking track there. Oh, come on, get in your own fucking lane. Right, wrong West Ashton Road now. Right, go, go, go. There's three limits, what's that? Oh, it says 40 on that side. What's that? Is that oh, of course it is along the bypass in the middle of town. It's 40 limit, isn't it? Never realised I was longer at 30. Yeah, so, um, not much to tell you really. I, admit, I you know, miss your comments and your bits and pieces. I don't miss the ones that give me all the old bollocks, like, you know, just, you know, wherever you say they just try and throw the poor thing, they'll fuck themselves. I ain't interested in that. Um, I haven't already spoke to H in a couple of weeks, the odd day, but, um, I suppose she's busy. And, uh, on the path because <laughs> I was whacking every finger about you know not taking up a lot of um oh these fucking do you know what these people do you not realize right I'll tell you now here's a bit of what's it a roundabout you go to a roundabout it doesn't matter how many turnings off that roundabout you cannot turn right at a roundabout you can only turn left because when you get to your thing, you turn left. You can take the third exit, the 20th exit, the first exit, the second exit, but you still turn left. But that fucking moron come across the thing with his right hand indicator on and then shoots off fucking left in front of me. Not only does it make me fucking nerves roll, I could do without it. So now, that's a rant over, so drive fucking properly. You can only turn left off roundabout. Remember, use your left hand indicator. Better still, well, use your left hand indicator is good. But just don't use any indicator if you, if you ain't gonna fucking go back right, carry on around and around. It's so bloody annoying. Well, it annoys me anyway. 
Anyway, I'll speak to you all later. Remember, stay classy, no fighting. Love you all. Bye-bye. And you skins.